Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. The month after April is here, which means I can finally bust out this meme. It's gonna be me. Thanks, Justin. May sees the video game world crank back into action and the big games begin to take center stage. Like usual though, if your wallet can't take a pummeling this month, I found a couple of free games to tide you over. So let's do this. Resident Evil Village is the headline act of the month. Ethan Winters returns from RE7 in another first-person horror fest as he tracks down his lost daughter in a spooky werewolf-filled vampire swarming village. Sounds delightful. I'm sure you've seen the fetishized big girl, Lady Dimitrescu, who is the main villain of the game, along with her standard-sized daughters. All of which will continually hound Ethan as he ventures around the castle and nearby town. It has been noted that Resident Evil 4 is a huge inspiration within Village. Combining the claustrophobic first person view with the exploration and aesthetic of RE4's medieval European town. The graphical push seen in Capcom's Devil May Cry 5 returns, making those faces look a little more believable than many other games. And when played in 4K, this game is absolutely beautiful. If you have that option, I highly recommend it. The Resident Evil series is known for awesome demos, and as I'm saying this, there's one on PlayStation. But unfortunately, it's a timed demo. Luckily, a new demo on all platforms drops on May the 1st for six days, so you can test for yourself if you'll need adult diapers before you buy. Resident Evil Village also includes the online multiplayer game REverse to celebrate 25 years of survival horror. Resident Evil Village drops on May 7th on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Oh and Stadia! I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Here's a very interesting game to consider. Hood Outlaws and Legends. Okay, not the greatest title. First we should note, the price is half that of a fully priced game. Think of this as Rainbow Six Siege meets For Honor. Let me explain. Set in the medieval era, two teams build a squad to steal loot from a castle or stronghold. Just like Siege, that consists of four members with different abilities, but that's where the similarities end. Because there's a third group here, AI protectors constantly guarding the loot you must steal. So effectively, Hood Outlaws and Legends is PvPVE, playing against other real world people and also artificial intelligence too. The Sheriff is alleged to be a brutal combatant, and guess what? He's the one holding the key to the vault we need. Upon sacking the vault, the heavy cargo must then be taken back home and winched out of the map. All the while, you are being pursued by the opposition team and the Sheriff's troops. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a really good concept. With this triple dynamic at work, I have high hopes for Hood, Outlaws and Legends. On top of all this are the different types of character you can choose. A simple sniper-like class using a bow. The hunter class has invisibility and smoke bombs. The brawler is the tank of the group. And there's also a mystical healing class. I'll see you on the battlefield on May 10th on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One and newer, and PC. Sometimes we all need a break from Battle Royale, but we still want some fast-paced action. How about video game dodgeball? Knockout City is EA's new action sports title in which we literally play dodgeball. And as it says in the Bible, If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Knockout City takes what you know about dodgeball and cranks it up to 11. We can catch the ball and return fire, but those action elements really come into play with physical attacks. There's no white line we can't cross here. If you can't hit them with a ball, hit them with a shoulder to the face. The skill elements come in with curved shots, looped shots, and get this one. Our teammates can literally become a ball to be thrown at the opposition. Knockout City is scheduled for a May 21st release, but here's a few things you should know. A free version of the game will be available on release, but we don't know how long it will be free for. An announcement must be imminent, and I wouldn't be surprised if the game drops its $20 price tag and becomes a completely free-to-play Battle Pass focused experience. The last game in this vein, Rocket Arena, bombed hard due to charging an upfront fee. I hope they don't make the same mistake twice. Anyway, an announcement any day now. And knowing my luck, it'll be 7 minutes after I post this video. So here's another free game, and this time, no potential strings attached. Enlisted, an MMO World War II shooter. And here's the thing, 
it's already out. Enlisted is made by the people who made other free-to-play games like Cuisine Royale, War Thunder and Crossout. This time we'll be reenacting battles from World War II with a brand new mechanic. We can control a squad of soldiers, each with their own role, like infantry, sniper, rifleman, those kinds of things. But here's the kicker, we only control one of those men at a time, and the AI follows in our footsteps. That way, our influence on the battle is more extensive than being a single chess pawn. So running solo is now effectively a team thing. The battlefield includes vehicles like historical tanks, keeping gameplay varied. I'm definitely interested to try this. How do you feel about another World War II shooter though? Enlisted is officially in beta right now and can be played on PC, PS5 and Xbox One. Sadly, there is not a last gen option on this one. The Mass Effect series is synonymous with greatness, even though the latter days were a little wider of the mark. On May 14th, it's time to replay the Mass Effect trilogy in this legendary edition. What is noteworthy right away is that this is a last gen title, a remaster staying humble and not over promising which is good to see. The PS4 and Xbox One versions will of course be playable on PS5 and the latest Xboxes. The Mass Effect Legendary Edition visually enhances all three games and gives them the same aesthetic. The load times and other technical issues have been ironed out and tweaks to gameplay have been made which is good news about a game which is 14 years old. The core action RPG elements remain the focus and get this in your ear holes, over 40 DLCs are included too. This series will take over your life if you're not careful, but Commander Shepard is counting on you. May the 14th to replay a classic of our time on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Next we have a DLC, Subnautica Below Zero. The base game was free on PlayStation last month, so if you grab that, you're already a step ahead. Subnautica is a survival title set on an underwater world, and as the title suggests, Below Zero takes us under the freezing point, adding another level of complexity to staying not dead. New plant life to discover, new inhabitants to locate, and tentatively decide if they are hostile. And we are told this expansion includes much more above water exploration than ever before. Other core mechanics have been added like a ton of new gadgets to aid your survival. So what are you waiting for? Planet 4546B arrives on May 14th on PS4, PS5, Xbox One and higher, PC and Switch. A couple of months ago a Rust revival took over every streamer's life and became one of the most played games on Twitch. Well finally on May 21st console players can find out what the fuss is about. Rust is another survival game, yeah there's lots on the list this month. The objective is simple, survive the wilderness, starting off as a near naked dude with a rock in hand and evolving your existence with everything you pick up. Players manage hunger, thirst and are constantly at threat from wildlife like bears and wolves. AI characters can be found in the world too, who can be defeated, bringing in the core mechanic, taking other people's loot. As this is online, there's no one stopping players from offing each other and taking away all your hard work. On Respawn, we're back to being a dude with a rock. Building a secure home base and having constant trust issues is the overriding emotion here, and I can't wait to finally try it. Rust comes to PS4 and Xbox One on May 21st. No news just yet on a next gen version. Have you heard of Biomutant, an action RPG announced in 2017? Well it's finally here. Biomutant is set in a fully open world in which we control a warrior surrounded by mutated animals. Our character is fully customizable, so embrace your inner furry and build the anthropomorphic creature you always identified as. The story is focused around the tree of life becoming infected. We then venture off into the sprawling world to put things right. Each area of the world is split into a different biome and the plot adapts to the decisions you make whilst out there. With a fully dynamic weather system, a day-night cycle and multiple vehicles to find and enemies to face, Biomutant is looking like it could be special. Or it could be just another Breath of the Wild clone. I'll take either option to be honest. Biomutant arrives on May 25th on PS4, Xbox One and PC. So there we have it, 8 games to pass the time in May 2021. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, you're awesome, I'll see you next time.